Now, despite warnings and pleas from the United Nations and Western countries, Kenya says it is not backing down from its plan to close Dadaab, the world's largest refugee camp located in northeastern Kenya. Now, the Kenyan government says Dadaab, which lies near the Somali border, has been used by Islamist militants to launch attacks such as the 2013 Westgate Mall assault in Nairobi last year. Kenya said it was setting a three-month deadline to close Dadaab, but backtracked on the plan following UN criticism of any forceful return, forced return. Now, Kenyan Deputy Minister William Ruto says his country was, has spent $7 billion on Dadaab over the past 25 years, but the facility now poses an existential threat to the country and must be closed. When we say um, the refugee camps pose an existential security threat to Kenya, we have facts, we have figures, and uh, we can demonstrate that that indeed is the case. And that is why we expect the international community to work with Kenya in the framework of uh, the tripartite agreement to expedite the repatriation of these refugees back home because we believe that they can make huge positive contribution in their country in Somalia. Well, the UN Refugee Agency says uh, Kenya and Somalia signed an agreement in 2013 to repatriate Somali refugees voluntarily. As Somalia has slowly started recovering from war and chaos, the population at Dadaab has declined from 500,000 to about 350,000. Now, for more insight, Mwenda Njoka, Kenya's Interior Ministry spokesman, joins me live via Skype from Nairobi. Welcome, Mwenda. Mwenda, do you hear me? Yes. Now, you just returned, actually, from Istanbul, where you attended this uh, uh, summit on humanitarian aid. Uh, tell us, uh, how did your stance resonate with the discussions at the summit? Um, okay. Position. It was the camps, and the issue was when and how. So, what the deputy they're trying to say or to explain to the humanitarian in uh, in was how we are going to do about to cooperate and what kind of support we expected or we would get from the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Now, the other question is that uh, we know there's already an agreement, actually, between Kenya, Somalia, and the UNHCR to repatriate people voluntarily. Why has this become an issue if indeed the plan is there? Okay, what has happened? Uh, if you recall, right, the triple was signed in uh, November 2013, and, and it was supposed to last three years. And by that three year time, we were supposed to have repatriated most of the refugees in the dark and other places. And such, uh, at this point in time, almost like uh, two and a half years down the line, we've nothing much has happened in that regard. Because of lack of support, because of many yeah. other factors, we are not blaming yeah. anybody. This, but yeah. it has it happened. So the government decided, in its wisdom, to start moving the process forward, to fast track the process. Because at the end of the day, nobody wants to be a refugee for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we have, uh, we're having trouble with the Skype there, Moenda. We may have to pick it up uh, perhaps from there next week. Thanks right. a lot for joining us anyway. And uh, we hope to get to hear more from you in the coming days. Well, Mwenda Njoka is Kenya's Interior Ministry spokesman. He joined us live via Skype from Nairobi.